So here's our problem. Just came up here. Let's see, we're rotated out here. So pretty often I come up here, I rotate it back, and then I click it in place. And the next time I come up, this is off again. So when I look at this, this right here, broken. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna remove this whole thing, put a new one on. So I bought a new one right here. It's all good. It even looks the same. So let's take a whack at it. See if we can unscrew these guys. Maybe. Oh, I thought they were flatheads. They're not. Right. No, they are not flathead. This is where we call in for support. Hey, would you bring me my socket set? Where are they? Uh, it's under the seat. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. I'll knock three times on the ceiling again if I need you. Will you get me a little wrench? The sockets are too big. The sockets are too big. Hello again. What is it that you need? Uh, I just need a little wrench. A little crescent wrench thing. Good? Yeah, that'll work. Thank you. trying to do is make sure I don't rip the what's the rubber roof back there. There's the used one. Now I'm gonna go ahead and clean out this. Well it's been just about an hour when I was out here scraping my handy little plastic scraper that I got from Walmart for like a buck. And what was actually most effective though was really using these Lysol wipes. So I would use the little putty knife and rough up the surface and then peel it off by putting my fingernails and then the wipes uh, kind of came in behind it to rough it up a little more and then take off the smaller pieces. So, we're about an hour into just cleaning this part of it here. So now we'll move on to our next step. I think what I'm gonna do, I'm going to let this guy dry off real well around here. While that is drying, I will move on and start cleaning up the second one. All right, now off we go on this one. It took me about 40-45 minutes to strip this guy down, 
Uh, the biggest challenge on this one really is my location. As you can see, I'm literally on the edge of the roof, hanging off on this side, hanging off on this side. I've got vent cover here, got light cover here, so not a whole lot of room. So what I ended up doing a lot of the time was hanging on to this with my left hand and then with my right hand down here doing my thing. So about 40-45 minutes to clean this one. So while it dries, I'm going to now go back to our first one and we'll go ahead and put down whatever this crap is, the, uh, the sealant, and we'll go from there. So I think the name of this game is going to be Go Thick or Go Home. So we're going thick. In my zeal to go thick or go home, I didn't stop to think that I need to make sure I'm lining up these holes. So see, you've got to line them up. So, yeah, go thick or go home. Yeah. Chuck another, another one up to dumbass. So we get a nice little coming out around the edge. I think this is good. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the screws in and tighten it down a bit. So if you remember when I took this off, it had the caulk like all the way up to the edge of this, this vent. So I'm about to put another couple beads right around the edge here. It'll be interesting since this is soft leveling to see like how far over the edge this actually runs. Mm -hmm. We'll see. So I'm trying to line up the hole. There we go. So I'll show you on the next one, because I don't want to take this one off. So there's a hole. I'm going to drive a screw through the top. And there's like a little piece that extended up. So, to keep this from coming detached. So, I think a logical question to ask is, why are you doing this? And we started having a problem with this, I think we were in uh, Louisiana or Mississippi. And what we found was that this, uh, I think we had caught it on a tree and it rotated off. So we had a really heavy rain and we had rainwater come in through here and rainwater come in through the back. And it just wasn't good. So when I say came in, uh, it filled up our, went into our tank. So.
All right, now we're gonna drop some cock right in there. Nice. Now we'll do the other one. I've said it once, I've said it five times. <laughs> I've said it twice. <laughs> <laughs> owning a, a truck camper is a lot like owning a house. So today's project of putting on new vent caps wasn't sexy, wasn't particularly interesting, and it sure wasn't fun, but it was necessary. We have projects we want to do right now in what we're going to call the dry season. And we wanted, this was something where we know we have water that comes in uh, when the, the lid on the vent was getting rotated. Uh, we'd have water that came in when it rained. So we wanted to rectify that situation while it's dry outside. So that's what we did today. So if I were looking at like my screwdriver scale of difficulty, I, I give this about a one on difficulty, but I would give it like on a scale of one to five, a four or five on like the danger category. The the vent that's closest to the front of the camper wasn't so bad. I had a lot of room to sit. It was uncomfortable, but it wasn't particularly dangerous. The vent cap back, like straight above the toilet, I had no room. So literally my ass was hanging off the roof part of the time. So I think I showed you like I was hanging on behind me and then scraping with the hand on the front. I'm glad so, I didn't see that. Yeah. So. I think like when I discussed this with the RV guy and they were talking like prices, I was like, that's crazy. Turns out it's not so crazy. This is just a labor job. So for both vents, I think I'm in this for about three hours. Could you do it? Sure you could. Hopefully you learned, because I know I learned from vent cap one to vent cap two, how to do things a little better and speed up the process. Well, it's been about 24 hours since we did the caulking and leveling. And I don't see anything like oozing down here. So let's go up top and see what it looks like. So it's been about 24 hours and we can see over here the uh, self-leveling, whatever you want to call it. Ran to the edge, but did not go over the edge. So I did not need this. I kind of put these in just in case it ran down. So it seems okay. Yeah, definitely still. Still pretty, uh, pretty soft. Let's look at the one in the back. Yeah, it started to roll over. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Nice. Kind of evened out. I think it looks all right. Also, look at his knees. Mmm. Mm. Lovely. With your other one. Well, that was not quite as bad. 